We will continue our study of forces and motion today. Let's look at the book that we're going to read. The title of the book is called Objects in Motion. The author is Tara Frank. There's no illustrator because this is a nonfiction text that uses photographs. Let's look at some other features of nonfiction text. The first feature that we're going to look at that all nonfiction texts have is a table of contents. Here you can find where what causes motion. That's found in chapter 2. Another feature of nonfiction text is the index. The index tells us where you can find certain words. Another feature is the glossary. It tells us the definition of words that we see in the text. Now, before we read, let's look at three questions. Number one, where can you see things move? Number two, what causes things to move? Number three, what causes things to stop? Introduction. Objects are things. Some objects move. Some objects are in motion. Read about objects in motion. These people are in motion. The ball is in motion. Look at the words to know. You can find these words in the glossary. They will tell you what these words mean. Chapter 1. What is motion? Objects can move. Objects can have motion. Some motion is fast. The wheelchair is an object. The wheelchair moves fast. Some motion is very fast. It's a fact. The fastest train can move 361 miles per hour. This train can go 581 kilometers per hour. The train is an object. This train moves very fast. Some motion is slow. The turtle is an object. The turtle moves slowly. The glacier is an object. The glacier moves very slowly. Some motion is in a straight line. The elevator is an object. The elevator moves in a straight line. Some motion is in a circle. The carousel is an object. The carousel moves in a circle. Some motion is forward. The bicycle is an object. The bicycle moves forward. Some motion is backward. The skater is an object. The skater moves backward. Chapter 2. What causes motion? Forces cause motion. A push is a force. A push causes motion. A push moves the swing. A strong push makes objects move fast. A strong push makes an object move far. A strong push moves the hockey puck. A pull is a force. A pull causes motion. A pull moves the car. A strong pull makes objects move fast. A strong pull makes objects move far. A strong pull moves the water skier. Gravity is a force. Gravity is a pull. Gravity causes motion. Gravity moves this apple to earth. People to know. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity. Gravity makes objects move. Gravity makes objects move to Earth. It's a fact. There's less, less gravity in space. Chapter 3. What stops motion? Forces stop motion. Friction is a force. 
friction stops motion. Tires rub on the ground. The car tires stop. Friction is a rubbing. The rubbing makes objects stop. The ball rubs on the grass. The ball stops. Rough surfaces have friction. A rough surface stops motion. The sand is a rough surface. The rough surface made the man stop. A smooth surface has less friction. Ice has a smooth surface. Did you know ice is not all smooth? Ice has some rough, rough parts.